ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of How America Ruins Everything. Today we're going to dive into the twisted tale of American colonialism and why the U.S. is just itching to start another war in the Middle East. Spoiler alert, it's all about hating Muslims and stealing resources from countries with black and brown people. So buckle up. Let's kick things off with a classic, Manifest Destiny. That's right, the 19th century notion that Americans were divinely, excuse me, white, European, land and slave owning Americans were divinely ordained to expand across the continent. Who cares about the indigenous people already living there? Not America. The only thing manifest here was greed. Fast forward a bit, and Uncle Sam's attention shifts to the Middle East. Why? Oil, baby. That's right, the liquid gold that fuels our cars and our endless wars. The Middle East is a jackpot of resources, and America loves a good jackpot, especially when it means meddling in other countries' affairs. Enter Israel, America's BFF in the Middle East. The U.S. has been playing favorites for decades, backing Israel to the hilt. Why? Because nothing says peace like picking sides in a volatile region. This lopsided support fuels resentment, but hey, who cares about Muslim majority countries when there's a special relationship to maintain? Let's not forget the cherry on top of this colonialist Sunday. Good old fashioned racism. America's foreign policy is sprinkled with generous helpings of anti-Muslim sentiment. It's like a recipe Take a dash of fear-mongering, add a pinch of xenophobia, and voila! You've got a foreign policy disaster ready to serve. So what's next on the American agenda? Another war in the Middle East, of course. Because if there's nothing America excels at more, it's repeating the same mistakes. With Israel's conflict and America's insatiable hunger for resources, war is practically inevitable. But hey! It doesn't have to be this way. Maybe, just maybe, if we stop the hate, rethink our foreign policy, and prioritize peace over profit, we can avoid yet another catastrophic war. But who are we kidding? This is America. See you on the battlefield. For more brutally honest takes on global politics, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell so that you'll be notified when I post new content. And have a great day.